I'm Allison, and this is my dog, and we live in a tiny house, in an even tinier trailer, traveling the country, taking hikes, and this week, we're going on a different kind of adventure, whereby we find out just how little damage it takes to utterly destroy a tiny house. My house is in pieces. Disaster. Just chaos. We are fleeing the situation today. Well, as you can see, I'm back in the tiny house. I got to enjoy a few hot showers, and then I found something in my bathroom. And now we have a full-scale disaster on our hands. Well, let me back up. I'll just show you. So here's my floor, and I got out of the shower the other day, and I realized the floor was soft, like squishy soft. And when I did this, I heard a sloshing noise. So I walked around a little bit. Floor squishy over here too. And then I pull up the rugs. Underneath the rugs, water is coming up out of the seams of my floorboards. There's water under my floor. And it turns out the drain is leaking into the floor and likely has been ever since I moved in seven months ago and the shower has been leaking between the subfloor and this floor that you see here. Um, <laughs> just the anxiety right now. We're gonna use the trailer as an emergency shelter now instead of, you know, my fun home away from home. Now it's emergency home away from home. All right, well, it's pretty much a disaster. We've, we've got some work to do to clean this out. Pardon, pardon me. Don't mind us snuggling over here. As you can see, this is not our house. This is me with a bunch of my stuff I carried from across the street in an extra house that's on the property I live on while they tear my house apart. My house is in pieces. My bed doesn't fit in here, so I have to sleep in the trailer, which is parked in my driveway every night, where I cannot connect power and therefore do not have heat. It's been such a hard week. If, in case you're keeping track at home, I have three domiciles, my tiny house, the tiny house that I'm staying, I'm sitting in the kitchen right now. And then my trailer where I sleep. I've been dealing with this for over a week now. I'm tired. This going between three houses thing is not working for me. This sucks. I should cheer up though because I'm lucky to have the trailer. I guess it could be worse. A tree could have come through the roof in the windstorm. I got a knock on wood there because the wind has picked up recently. <laughs> what do I do in the meantime? I am going to go into the one place that feels like home that I have, which is my trailer. I'm going to take it on the road to a place where the weather is not so miserable and get away from all of this. And that's that. It's been a really terrible week. So that's our next move. We're gonna get in the trailer and go tomorrow after I wrap up a few work meetings, which work don't even get me started. Screw all of this, I'm hitting the road. All right, here we go. Am I gonna fit through here? Yeah. Ooh, I forgot to check the mail. Be right back. This rain. I'm so done with water this week, let me tell you. We are fleeing the situation today. And it feels nice to be leaving all of that behind me. We're gonna drive until it's not raining anymore, however long that takes us.
been such a hard week. You're stinky. Goodness. 